Today we're speaking with Dr. Juan Kihong, Division Head and Professor at the University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center, an American Cancer Society Professor, and a Samsung Distinguished University Chair in Cancer Medicine. Dr. Hung was AACR President from 2001 to 2002. He is also a researcher with the Battle Trial, a groundbreaking lung cancer biomarker study. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Hung. Thank you. Can you discuss the significance of the results of the Battle Trial, which were released at the AACR 101st Annual Meeting 2010? Sure, I'm, I'm happy to do that. Uh, the Battle Trial was uh, presented by the Dr. Ed Kim uh, Sunday uh, morning, uh, the opening plenary sessions. I had a uh, great privilege uh, to lead that program, uh, and in fact, uh, the, I was the architect of uh, uh, the battle program uh, developed in 2004. Okay. Basically, the battle trial is a biomarker approaches of the targeted therapy in lung cancer elimination. Okay. And uh, this is a biopsy mandated uh, biomarker integrated uh, trial in refractory lung cancer patients. Uh, it's uh, for the first time it's conducted in history. And the uh, idea uh, was uh, basically uh, identifying the molecular trait in tumor tissue and then match with a targeted agent to control the disease. So the result uh, uh, was uh, presented by, uh, effectively by Ed Kim, uh, was uh, really uh, exciting and rewarding and uh, uh, really uh, opened up uh, this new field of the personalized medicine in lung cancer. So basically, the, the patients who achieved the disease control with the targeted therapy uh, improved the survival and uh, uh, substantiated pre-specified hypotheses uh, asked through the uh, battle program. So what makes these findings different from other studies? Well, uh, this is uh, a trial was conducted as a prospectively and the biopsy mandated uh, is a trial and uh, never been conducted uh, as a previously and also uh, is the feasibility was uh, uh, issue uh, the uh, was uh, had a great deal of the concern and we demonstrated uh, is a biopsy driven trial like this can be done Okay. So uh, that's important finding. And the second important finding is we used a uh, uh, very novel, uh, the adaptive Bayesian randomized uh, the design uh, method, uh, which is uh, guided, uh, patients guided, uh, they receive some more effective treatment and less effective treatment can be uh, suspended. Okay. That is uh, uh, different than some other trials. So how may these results change practice for the cancer research arena? Well, I, th I think this is, uh, again, is, uh, for the first time conducted a uh, trial like this, and uh, it's opened up the new field of the personalized medicine. And uh, again, the study was a phase two B randomized study, and this study should be expanded and uh, confirmed through the, uh, the large phase three study. And uh, if that phase three study substantiate uh, is our result, and then definitely will change the practice for the patient benefit. Dr. Hong, you were AACR president from 2001 to 2002. How do you see the organization evolving and growing? Well, uh, AACR made a huge impact. Uh, it's worldwide and uh, in terms of the promoting uh, is cancer research and cancer education uh, across the board in the, the cancer education, the research and the dissemination of uh, important research findings through the many, many AACL journals. And also uh, is AACL really organized many important uh, conferences throughout the world and really inspire and motivating young people to pursue more cancer research. Great, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you.